Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. This was a Patreon exclusive uh, that we did yesterday, and there's more info in there besides just about all these uh, naturopathic doctors that have gone missing. Uh, and this has been going on for years, but other subjects there as well. I thought that was a very, very important video. Well, yeah, I mean, the information in there is, talks about how to navigate this, this world. If, uh, you know, if we get sick, what do we do? What's the best thing to do? What's the best course of action? So a lot of good info, I felt, too. Yes, absolutely. And there's been another uh, shooting getting onto the news. This one was, they say, done by a 14-year-old that had been watched by the FBI um, since 2023. And this was in Georgia. Uh, it's just, it's just, there's been so many of these, you can't count them. And, you know, at the same time, we're seeing younger and younger individuals uh, doing these things. And, man, you know, I always notice, like, what's trending. Let's see if it's still there. No, it's not. But uh, there was an MK Ultra trend going on, if you know uh, what I mean. This is Minden, Louisiana, a very, very small little town in northwestern Louisiana. 11-year-old boy charged with murder and deaths of former Louisiana mayor and his daughter. Uh, they were found dead with multiple gunshot wounds on Sunday. Whoa. You know, the craziness in this world. And here, Russia targeted a hotel that was full of NATO personnel, the reports are saying, uh, um, somewhere around 700 dead. Uh, this, this was a, a big event. And, you know, again, what's going on in Ukraine and Russia, I am heartened by seeing that more and more comments are showing that people get what's really going on and, you know, the hatred is being fomented one against the other but the reality is more and more people are recognizing that you know this world operates uh, on a profit basis for all the lower management which you know again equates to the the president's prime ministers you know the leadership the political leadership that we see on earth is is really lower management uh so to speak and people are understanding that, you know, this is not really being done for the reasons that they say it's being done. And I do see people waking up in, in droves, and that's really, really good. Of course, it, it makes it obviously more dangerous when, when the system realizes that the system itself is being exposed. And it was interesting, too, because another one came up in the feed that was talking all about Draco reptilians on a channel that has like, you know, six, seven hundred thousand subscribers. And most of the information was was pretty accurate. You know, there was a couple of things in there that uh, felt a little bit off. But, you know, the good news is people are waking up to the fact that, you know, Earth, we've been controlled by very, very dark forces for a very long time. And I think part of it is just understanding what's really going on. So when we see all these issues, these are the four, uh, four of the gang members that were arrested. This is Aurora, Colorado again. Um, you know, these, these again are young um, individuals, uh, 19, 20, uh, you know, that confirm that they are members of these gangs and you know again it's the it, there's multiple reasons why why people would choose to enter a gang um, again the economic situation is such on earth that it does create the opportunity for the dark side to pull people in and there is this uh, dichotomy going on left right uh, divisive tactics that are always being used so it's fomenting again to use that term by Albert Pike back in 1871 uh, it's fomenting division amongst humans and and so this makes it very very easy for an outside entity think um, Machiavelli and you know the prince 
it's all about manipulation from the outside. The, the real controllers uh, are not the ones that are necessarily pulling triggers. They're getting people to do it for them, and they do it by creating this division and hatred um, by giving us a, an economic system which only really benefits the very, very upper echelon, which again is, is lower management at best, uh, of the actual control system that we see. And then there was um, shooting going on. This was in Munich, Germany. Um, and this is by the Israeli embassy. Um, apparently, uh, somebody stopped by with uh, something along the lines of an AR-15 M16 and was shooting. Let's see. And, and obviously a lot of shooting. So this hasn't been confirmed yet um, what's happened, you know, but obviously a lot of bullets were um, <clears throat> shot off there. Tensions are rising between Egypt and Ethiopia with Egypt sending 10,000 soldiers to Somalia and Ethiopia moving armored vehicles towards the border with Somalia. The conflict is about Ethiopia continuing to fill up the Grand Ethiopian, Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. You know, again, in these desert type situations, water is life. And when you don't get a lot of rainfall, you know, water is absolutely precious. So, you know, building a dam that's going to inhibit the flow of water farther on downstream and potentially lead to loss of crops and, and loss of life is obviously something that we can view as antagonistic. And when you start to look at, you know, really who's doing this and who's, who's manipulating all this, it always comes down to the same corporate cast of characters. It does. It does. And, you know, one thing you just you don't do is you don't mess around with water in the desert. I mean, it's not just uh, basic stuff. You get into everything. You get into wildlife. You get into, you know, any kind of farm animals. You're just you're, you know, sentencing someone to death if, if there's no water. So I don't know. A, a lot of really horribleness. And what makes me sad is that each person as long as they have picked a side, they're going to fight for that side to the death. But what they don't know is that above them is the same side. Above them is an entity that is playing both sides of the game, very much like somebody who is two-faced or, or a cheater or a two-timer, and they don't know that they're being played. They're just being loyal, and it makes me sad because they're you know obviously good people they believe in something they believe in fighting for something but you know it's all they're fighting for the wrong wrong team we, we need to all be on team humanity yeah and when you brought up that term fighting for something this is what they have us you know basically trained to do always fight for something as opposed to you know working at it in a more building sense, you know, instead of saying, let us work together to resolve, you know, these issues, it's, it's that mindset of we have to fight for this. And that's something that's been, you know, indoctrinated into us as, again, you know, kids. Yeah, I was, I was looking at an article and it was saying, uh, this one article was saying in the 1920s, um, everything was changing in the education system. Well, we do understand that again, that big oil um, family, the Rockefellers, uh, slowly pushed out and controlled the education system of, of the medical system uh, of, of that time to this time. It's totally different. It, it's, it's been, um, well, you know, opposing views were either uh, bought out, you know, or just eradicated in one way, shape or form. And we have the system today with people, you know, living shorter lives, uh, chronically ill, and, you know, <laughs> declining population, uh, rapidly declining. And we're going to look at that, you know, a little closer uh, to the point of, you know, are we heading for extinction as a species? And again, you know, look to those in charge 
that are leading to this. They need to be replaced. All of them. You know, every bit of the system needs to be replaced because the system's taking us into an abyss. And that's pretty obvious and it's growing obvious even to the fluoridated masses. And so that part is a, is a, a good thing that it is, you know, being um, made more and more obvious. This right here, let's see if we refresh this, uh, reports of hazmat um, vehicles all over New York City. And what's going on with that may just be some sort of exercise, might not be anything. Um, we, we're definitely um, now, you know, the, the fire is being turned up, so to speak. You could feel it. You know, it's getting hotter out there in more ways than one, even though the experts are stumped as to where did all the hurricanes go? And, and, and I see one expert after another, uh, people like Jim Cantori and other uh, weather people that have been doing it forever, having no explanation because they've never seen anything like this before, where all of a sudden, you know, it was dire predictions. You know, the water temperature is so hot. Oh, my God, it's going to be cat sevens. Yeah, they'll have to create new categories. And no, everything is fizzled out. And they have no explanation because they don't understand the technology that's at play here. And again, there are so many people with the right intentions that have woke up to cycles and now think it's just all 12,000 year cycles. It's all natural. No, it's not all natural. It's never been all natural. Sure, there are cycles, 12,000, 6,000 years, but there's also cycles much shorter than that. And these redos, these R-E-S-E-T's, are ongoing, always ongoing always that's the thing it's it's not like this is just a 12,000 year event no again they have rabbit holes for us to go down that catch us as we start to awaken to something there's a new rabbit hole that will pop up and and waylay people for a while because what they're doing is they're by, biding their time national guard also spotted in chicago um question is is it due to the the migrant gang situation well it's interesting because there's a lot of things going on all over there's an army um stationing going on in a new york city hotel which this man is is trying to get information and he's gotten the name of the manager of the hotel and and he's never allowed to connect through he literally asks them why are there you know military personnel in in your lobby and all you hear is click. <laughs> Just click. That's it. I'll have all the links for you guys so you can listen to all these things. Um, this is the one that I want you to, to really listen to. Because uh, I've said to Cindy, um, if we want to know, you know what's really going on, speak to uh, your USPS personnel. Because they're going to know. They, they see when, you know, they see things. And, and we notice things too. Uh, you know, like on Saturdays or what have you, if you see churches busy with, uh oh, it looks like it's another funeral. Um, well, this person it shares some in interesting information about just how we are really only at the tip of the iceberg here. Hey guys, do you remember a couple years ago? Um, and pretty much like over the last two years, there's been a lot of talk and videos and like data coming out about people who took the job. Um, depending on the potency of the job that you got, um, we're going to start dying. And that's a little blunt. Hopefully this gets through. <laughs> but basically what she goes on to say is that she's lost 19 people on her route in the last four months. 19 people in four months. She's got 460 people on her route. So, you know, if you look at that as 60 people in a year, on a 460 uh, person route, that's like, that, that's that's significant. You're talking more than 10%. You're talking like 15% have, have, you know, left this 3D plane in a year. That's massive, you know, because we've seen a huge increase in, in the number of um, people leaving the planet. And it just feels like it's going exponential. Uh, right now, you have 
statements like humanity is not having enough babies to replace deaths for the first time in 60,000 years. Um, obviously, we need to fire the system because, you know, this is catastrophic. And then you have who, who really is doing this with, with shuffling people around? It's the UN. And here you have literally uh, this Jamaican immigrant, Andre Buchanan, who has previously told migrants to strap up and literally says, you know, the migrants, if you're a migrant, he says you need to strap up to protect yourself and to go to door to door. This this is exactly, you know, again, the type of thing that we've been warning about is when they are activated and, and the th fact that he's saying go door to door and like many of them, many of the migrants do understand that this is why they are here. Um, yet, yeah, absolutely. I, I still feel that, you know, 90 something percent are coming just looking for a better opportunity. But when you're talking tens of millions of people, even 1% is a large amount. And you know, you're, you're talking an amount that's bigger than many armies around the world. In fact, most armies, it's bigger than most armies, but most militaries around the world. And so, you know, obviously this is part of a bigger plan as you have MasterCard launching crypto card in Europe directly linked to your private wallet. Spend uh, euros at 100 million mer merchants and pay with your Bitcoin or crypto. One of our uh, family members had a Bitcoin disaster um, a scam that, you know, cost quite a bit of money. Um, I do not believe in any cryptocurrencies. That's me. But hey, I'm an old guy. So, you know, I, I want to see tangible. I want to see things that um, you could trade, literally trade if the lights are off. How are you going to trade with, with the power out? How are you going to access your Bitcoin if the power is out? Does anybody have an answer for that? Uh, seriously, if we go into a place where it's rolling blackouts on a regular basis, or if we're out for weeks, I mean, the government said, be ready for six months with, without the grid. How are you going to access your Bitcoin for six months without the grid? You know, to me, it's just, it's a step towards that one world digital currency. And this is something they've utilized to get people comfortable with it. Again, there are no uh, get rich quick schemes that don't have a level of risk to them. Uh, and I'm just not a risk taker when it comes to those things. Well, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, people, people, if they see something and they want to make their lives better, they want to make their lives better. The problem that we have here is there's no, um, no authority. There's no one to turn to. It's like, it's just the money is gone. It's in thin air. It's just gone. And, you know, a lot of people are, you know, YouTubers that we, we really like are pushing this currency and I don't believe in it either. I don't believe in it not one bit. I think it's very dangerous to get other people on board. I, I think that there is no accountability. There is no responsibility. There is no chain of command, which opens the door to a lot more, uh, a, a many more scams that we might not see coming. And, uh, you know, unless you are just completely out of it, I think anybody is susceptible. I mean, anybody. Things happen. Uh, humans are can be really tricky to each other. Humans can make things sound really good and take advantage of some of the smartest people. And once, see, the problem here is once it's gone, it's gone. It's like you can't call a regular bank with this cryptocurrency. There, There's a million places you could call, but no one to take responsibility. And the money is just gone. So, I mean, I find it so, so sad. And I, for one, am going to also do my part in pushing back and not allowing this to come through in my lifetime. I, I don't want this. It's very dangerous. And there's, to me, already too many people supporting it because it is that agreed upon illusion. And it's worse than, you know, money is agree an agreed upon illusion, but it, it's still in your hand. And we still know that we can just walk down to a bank and we still know that there's a chain of command. If, if somebody scams you or somebody does something 
that's not nice and steals from you, there's a process we can do. But when it comes to this, this Bitcoin, it's just gone. It's just gone. And it's very confusing. Uh, there's a lot of things that we're trying to understand and, and our friend is trying to get information as well. And I don't think things happen for absolutely no reason. I think there's purpose behind it. And maybe it's for this video for us to reach other people to say, hey, you know, be careful, be careful, because there's really nasty people out there preying on other people who are just wanting a better life. Yeah, and I've, I've had people say, you don't understand Bitcoin. You need to look into it. Well, I mean, if you look up Satoshi Nakamoto, it, it says that that's the name used by a presumed su pseudonymous, pseudonymous, so person or persons who develop Bitcoin. They don't even know who really developed this. You know, and what I feel is this this is a psyop. I mean, I'm just this this is a massive psyop. Yeah. And, and I know there are people that are going to be so upset and disagree violently uh, about that because they're so vested in it. Um, but, you know, there, you could even just Google it and you'll see who is the mysterious Bitcoin creator, Satoshi Nakamoto. Um, you know, I think really, if I had to say, um, uh, I would look to, you know, uh, Al Qaeda, and I would look to all the alphabet soups, and I would look to BlackRock. Um, that's that's really where I think this originates. Well, I, I think a lot of people are buying into it because they they do believe it, and it's not that there's anything wrong with them. It's just they believe in it, and I don't. And I, I've always, you know, I've learned to follow my instincts, and my instincts have just never locked on to this and said. It's okay. My instincts never did. But there are people out there who are very intelligent, extremely intelligent. They understand the lingo. They understand how it works. But I think there's a bigger problem. There's a much bigger problem. I think it's a scam of such a huge nature, uh, of such a very widespread nature. It's just so big that we can't see. I, I don't, I, <laughs> you know, the AI, the algorithms, this something just is so not right about this. And I, I'm just I'm gonna drag my feet for as long as I possibly can with this one I want to use cash I want to have the ability to go and get my money and have it in my hand and that should be everybody's right just as much as you know we have a right to live and breathe and eat and be content we have a right to have our money in our hand if it's ours if we've made it I mean, and I don't want to do anything to tip um, the scales in the favor of our money just not being there in a blackout. There, there's, there's people do explain it and they go into great detail. But I think if you spend too much time explaining something, it's just too complicated. And I'm, I'm a pretty simple girl. I'm a very simple girl. And if it's not, you know, very tangible. I'm never going to trust it, and I, I wish that other people wouldn't either, but I'm not here to tell them what to do. No, this this feels like it's totally part of that Illuminati pyramid scheme type thing. Um, and it's fascinating that nobody knows for sure who this really is. Um, so, you know, tread, tread cautiously, very, uh, very cautiously. Um, because both of us feel this is absolutely a scam, and that's just our... Our, our perspective on it, uh, it's again to get people used to something, to get people trusting something. And so, you know, at some point in time, this may be your, your one world global C, you know, CDC. Um, I wouldn't doubt it at all. And it, it would make total sense. You know, cases of polio started popping up in kids after DDT was being sprayed to combat malaria. You know, again, if you're not drinking organic coffee, you're probably getting a dose of that in there, too. Uh, it's all tied together. It is all absolutely tied together. It's a detoxing situation that this world needs to well, awaken to. We, we have been so toxified. It's a toxic overload, and this is what we've been talking about a lot is you know first i think you got to kind of grab the bull by the horns 
and allow your body to detox, which means don't take in any more toxins uh, for periods of time. And, you know, we've, we've shown Pringles that have worms in them. Uh, there's all sorts of uh, parasites going on. Seems like there's a lot of people not feeling well at, right at this stage. Uh, it seems like September and the end of August, we had an awful lot of people not feeling good. Uh, and I do think there's a correlation to that and all the toxins surrounding us all the time. Isn't this uh, acute? This makes me think of the book Etadorpha, which is Aphrodite spelled backwards, which talks about a venture into the inner earth kingdom where there are mushrooms that are 20 feet tall or bigger. Um, and mushrooms, for the most part, yes, you got to be careful. This is, again, discernment and understanding what you're looking at. Some, some mushrooms are, are absolutely toxic and can take you out. Others can help boost the immune system, like cordyceps. And yet there's others that are just good for our overall health as well and others that can help with uh, neuroplasticity, you know. But the fact that we have these things that look to be fossilized, just the exact same shape, oh, th well, this might be a coincidence here. But again, there were much bigger things in play in other ages when we had a lot more oxygen, oxygen in you know our our air that we are breathing right now not the case not the case and you know again there's many reasons why they're always cutting down rainforests and forest in general cutting down trees trees and us have a symbiotic relationship they need what we expel we need what they expel and when you look to churches and we talked about all the churches that are burning down right now across europe france in particular but all over, most of these were not churches. Most of these were, um, you know, buildings that were from a previous age. Now, this could just be the sun glinting. Sure, it's it's not necessarily old Tartarian technology coming online, but it could be. <laughs> and the fact that these things were used to pull energy from the ether. The reason why we drill and do fracking is because they want the water toxic. They want the food toxic. It's not because that's the best, most efficient way to get, gain energy. No, we, we don't need any of these systems that are on, on the planet. And we don't even need the solar panels or even the windmills. We, we can pull the energy directly from the ether as all the other elements, the four elements that you're familiar with, all come from the ether. They all come from the Akash. This is just understood when you study uh, the Vedic system, when you understand yoga, uh, when you look into other traditions, uh, Chinese five element theory, uh, you know, as well will give you an understanding that it's really imbalances in the body that cause disease. And again, the toxicity that's around us in the food, water to drink and also the energy field are creating imbalances in all of our bodies and this is why uh, we are in probably the most challenging uh, five or six years you're ever going to experience <clears throat> these next um, handful of years <clears throat> are by far going to be the most challenging ones for us well uh, yeah i mean a lot of people are really struggling and we've noticed that over the past week and if it's not emotional it's physical something is going on and and we really need to be at our best and sometimes even if, if even if you're at your best things still happen but you know vitamin cheat sheets as you can see B is very very important B is really critical but vitamin A is for uh, vision and immunity you get that through carrots and spinach now unfortunately our food the soil has been so drained of nutrients uh, most people need to uh, you know take vitamins to B1 for energy and nerves you get that through whole grains and pork vitamin B2 it's your metabolism uh, milk and eggs can I add something? Yes. Because you were just talking about the soil um, being a problem. So I, I saw a post yesterday, too. It was showing uh, that Gil Bates' character uh, touching down in an area in uh, Africa. And so he's talking to the leadership in that country and explaining to them they're going to be uh, given GMO seeds to, to grow 
and you're going to only farm in, in one item in each area. The one item in each area is exactly um, what takes the nutrients out and doesn't give nutrients back in. And, you know, this is what people are being taught. People are being taught ways uh, to basically shorten their lifespan um, by, you know, creating these nutritional deficiencies. And when we talked about, you know, Rockefeller medicine, you know, there are tons of vitamins out there. You can go get, you know, cheap vitamins from Walmart and stuff. But a lot of them are going to be derived, again, from petroleum products. Right. You know, when, when they were making uh, vitamins and when they were making uh, pharmaceuticals, there was a problem with the process of what, what are they going to do with the stuff that's left over from making these pills. And actually, they brought in a group of scientists and the group of scientists got together and they took took everything that was left over from making the original pills. And then they made the that thing that we call today generic. And most of the pills that you get are of that generic nature and they're made of that stuff so you can see our b vitamins are very very critical so and where you get those b vitamins i mean it's best yeah if you can get it from food but you really have to be like probably on your own farm or something you know to be feeding and eating and having that symbiosis so uh be very mindful of where you do get your vitamins from um not always any longer is it okay to get something cheaper for free you know looking at the bigger vitamins like centrum and stuff like that i wouldn't go near those with the 10 foot pole you know i think i'm just swallowing a petroleum pill and uh whatever the petroleum does to the body is going to block all of the other synthesis any vitamins go in your system and then those vitamins that are going in your system are probably synthetic anyway so i mean to me your people it's sad because people are trying to do the right thing oh give me my centrum but, you know, they're short circuiting themselves and it's going to be very short lived. And ultimately, uh, there might be some benefits, but over the long term, people are really harming themselves. So, yes, uh, derive what you can as far as nutrients from actual whole foods, whole foods, you know, th things again, um, like eggs, you know, and, and actual lean proteins as well as obviously all sorts of vegetables, you know, recognize too um, that if you are on big pharma stuff, you know, a lot of things that are normally good for you might not be good for you because of the pharma. Um, you know, when the leafy greens come, come to mind and others, um, you know, it, they cause a lot of complications. And this is a mineral cheat sheet. Uh, magnesium, energy, sleep, bone, potassium, blood pressure, salt, hydration, digestion. Again, uh, we only, I, I just, the only one I like to use is um, pink Himalayan uh, or, you know, organic and, and um, you know, I know Celtic sea salt and, and others. There are some other good ones out there, but certainly not Morton's or any of the ones that you, I mean, Blood, they, they will raise blood pressure, uh, you know, the, the processed ones. Again, processing is, is by its very nature an opportunity to add and pull away. Add in things that aren't going to help you, pull away things that are. I know, it's, it's, it is. It's a huge opportunity for the controllers to make people more sick because they need people to be sick to, to feed to feed what they're doing but you know as far as where to get them um a forefront health has a really good b vitamin that i take and then i've dr berg on youtube he has a line of vitamins also and i i do trust him so it's about digging around and finding out who you trust and trial and error um i i don't have um ideas for everyone every vitamin that i get you know i go through i make sure it's organic i look at the ingredients and i look at what other people say about it but those two ones that we are talking about that are so important which is our b vitamins and our minerals uh forefront health they sell a really good liquid b vitamin that i do like and then dr berg i think he has a line of vitamins that are probably pretty good so that's what that's that's a big part of my go-to <laughs> and then you know consciousness those creatures around us they are so beautiful and wonderful and entertaining and 
and just you know more on the same page as us than we could ever really imagine i mean look at this squirrel he's totally playing dead he is so adorable and he's on the same page as we are i mean we need to see earth as we are one and of itself we are all one and anything that is going to take advantage of that or throw a, a wrench in that symbiosis is is something that we should be very careful about bringing into our lives absolutely so again we, we invite everybody that's so inclined to come join us on patreon uh, as little as a dollar a month or there is a 10 percent discount when it, uh, you pay for a year ahead comes to ten dollars eighty cents exclusive videos each week over there as well um, plainly spoken Source bless and namaste. Namaste.